We're with Christy today, and she's going to tell us the best things to do for fall plants. So when's, when is the best time to plant? Right now. Fall is yeah. the best time to plant. You have cooler weather. You've got, usually, Mother Nature gives us more rain, so it's really a good time to plant now and then the plant will have a little bit of time to put some roots down uh, before winter comes in. Um, what plants are best for the fall weather? So it all depends on what you're looking at. If you're looking for foundation plants for your new home or an existing home that you've ripped everything out of, you can always go with evergreens. Um, they do well. And then, of course, you have color um, for perennials. So right now, what's in color are our black-eyed Susan, our Maryland state flower. This is goldenrod or solidago. Um, a lot of people think that this is ragweed. It is not. Um, this is a great pollinator plant also. And then, of course, behind you, we've got the cone flowers or echinacea. These guys are beautiful. They come in an array of colors. Um, and then if you have some shade gardens, right down here in those purple flowers, those are um, heuchera. Um, great for shade areas. And of course, we have even our hydrangea trees and other hydrangeas are still blooming. So um, really anything you can plant right now. Um, we've got some great native trees. Um, this is a sweet bay magnolia, likes wet. So a lot of us um, on, in Queen Anne County may have a little bit more wet than what we know what to do with. This guy may help. It's only about 25 feet tall, so it's not enormous. Um, does great in the wet. And then this beauty is our native red bud. Um, this is um, a flamethrower. Uh, there's different cultivars. And this is just stunning with this beautiful color. It actually is red during the summer. So you get it, you know, for the summer, spring and summer for that. Is there any soil that's best for these kind of plants? A lot of soil or a lot of plants like different soils. So what's best is if you kind of have an idea of what your soil is like. It could be Ken Island clay. It could be all sand. It could be well draining or it could be wet. Um, bring that information to your nursery, to us, and we could um, help you find the plant that does best in those types of environments. Um, figure out where the sun is, too, um, and that'll help some plants, uh, like the echinaceas, um, the uh, black-eyed Susans, and the solid, they like full sun, but then the guys like hostas or heuchera, um, those like shade, so we can find what works best in, um, in, your, in their landscape. Are there any vegetables that are good for the fall as well, so people can plant them and maybe harvest them and eat them? Absolutely. Um, it's a great question. A lot of people think that the tomatoes and peppers, and once they're done, you're done gardening. But that's not true. You can always come in and plant um, some cool weather crops. Um, kale, carrots, broccoli. Um, bok choy. Some of those are just um, tip of the iceberg as to what does really well in this cooler weather. Uh, you can start them from seed. You can start them from plant starts. These are cabbages. Um, and you can um, usually sometimes get a harvest quite late into the year. Um, there's definitely ways to um, keep it so it's a little bit warmer than the actual outside temperature. So I've had folks that are able to get kale in January. Um, so you can do a lot with fall gardening. So don't stop. Okay.